You guys want to see my belly? Yeah, show them your belly. What a wonderful What's up, Chimmy Squad? Welcome back to our channel! If you guys are new here, I'm Shay. I'm Eunice. And we're taking it back to our first mukbang. We're gonna eat carbonara! Ooh, they finally had it in stock. We were waiting months. They were sold out everywhere. Yeah, like, everywhere. everywhere. Before we get started, you already know what time it is. Time to give a shout out to the first five commenters that commented hashtag Chimmy Squad on our last mukbang. Big, big shout out to Peggy Ma Sam Zuali, Alexis Gray, Maria Chowdhury, Kavitha Udayan, and Ronnie S. Yay! Yay! Thank you so much. Make sure to comment now for a shout out on our next mukbang. Comment right now. Okay guys, so you already know, we love to eat it with some keem, which is seaweed. Got one right here. Choice of drink, milk kiss. I hope this doesn't make it spicier than it already is because it's carbonated, but it has a milky flavor to it, so it might help. Let's say Grace. Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm so excited. First bite. Mm. Mm. Oh, so good. If you guys haven't watched our first ever mukbang, so embarrassing. <laughs> it was before we had our lights, our mic. Yeah, we're like total noobs. It was our first ever mukbang video. Make sure to check it out. It's kind of funny. Cheers. So refreshing. Milkis needs to sponsor us. <laughs> For real. <laughs> so yeah, carbonara was definitely our first mukbang. And we wanted to take it back to the first days, but literally we went to like four different markets. They were all gone. I even called other markets like far away. They were like, oh, they're out of stock. I know. I don't know sad. what it is. Carbonara is the best hamyang noodles, period. I don't know what they put in here. It's like crab. So I know a lot of you guys clicked here reading the title. This is a huge, huge milestone for one of us. Mm -hmm. Actually, some of you guys already guessed it, but surprise is... I am pregnant! She's pregnant! <laughs> Actually, like three of you guys noticed. I know, I was so shocked when people commented, is Eunice pregnant? I was like, I know. It's probably because you can tell that I'm gaining weight. If you guys see my past videos, I'm much more like... Yeah. And I'm not the type to really gain weight, but... She's not. This pregnancy has been putting so much weight on my body. It's yeah, crazy. That's true. She texted me yesterday. She's like, okay, people are starting to notice. I think I need to announce my pregnancy. <laughs> okay. Next mukbang. I was trying to pull like a Kylie Jenner thing. You yeah. Know, but... This is mm. spicy, but my doctor said it's okay to eat spicy even though you're pregnant. She's so like, are fine. you sure? And she's like, she said it's okay. She told me that it has nothing to do with it. So before I reveal my pregnancy belly, which is actually pretty huge. She's pretty far out right now. Yeah. We've been keeping it really low key. It's good because mukbang, you can't really tell because it's like just up here. No, but you guys have really good eyes because there was, someone was like, Eunice is gaining beautifully. I was like, oh, they know. Honestly, it's been on my face too. Let's talk about how I found out. Yeah. Okay, so... I found out a few months ago actually. So this year's been like crazy just transition of my life. First of all, I lost my best friend. Not lost, but she moved to Korea forever. And yeah. she was my best friend since second grade. So like it's a huge part of me that's gone. She's not coming back for a really, really long time. And then following that, we lost our dad. He passed away. R.I.P. Appa in May. And it's crazy because after he passed away, like one week after... I wasn't getting my period. So I did a pregnancy test and I was actually pregnant. And I really kind of regret that I wasn't able to reveal that to my dad. But you didn't know. Like, I didn't know. Right after he passed, one week later, she found out. Yeah, so it turns out I was pregnant for like a month already while he was here. Yeah. But I was so busy taking care of him because he was in hospice care at home. Yeah. So I didn't feel like I should check until after. And it was too late by then, but I'm sure he's watching down now. Mm -hmm. Super happy and excited. He visited her in my dream. Yeah, he came out of my dream and he was like, you know, because I was really worried because I'm kind of young. 
um, I'm the youngest in my family. Yeah. And he came out of my dream and he was like, it's okay. I know how you feel. That's how me and your mom felt 23 years ago. Everything's going to be okay. Yeah. And I didn't understand. But when I woke up, I was like, crap, I'm 23 years old. They were probably talking about when they had me. Yeah. Because they had me at a really old age. Yeah. Mom was 44 when she had me. They were not ready to have us at all. Like, we were kind of... It's called lutungi in Korean, which is like when you're born late. Because we have two older sisters that are like over 10 years older than us. They're like in their 40. Yeah. yeah. So they were just like, you know, we're too old. We don't want children anymore. But then again, they didn't want to abort us either. And actually, God spoke to our parents and like told them, keep the child. Yeah. Or keep us. Mom had a lot of dreams about us. Yeah, she did. So. And that's crazy because then you had a dream too then. That's crazy. Yeah. I that's had a crazy. dream last year of me giving birth. Like. I saw the baby coming out of my little, mm -mm, yeah. and I was like crying, so beautiful. Yeah. And in my dream, it was a girl, and it's a girl. That's the really crazy thing. Mm -hmm. I also had a dream where I saw her holding a baby girl, like before she found out the gender. So it's so crazy how everything is so connected. Like yeah, it's like God's been giving us dreams and letting us know what's gonna happen. Very divine dreams. Mm hmm. But I'm really glad because my dad, before he left, he gave us his blessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He really wanted me and Angel, my fiancé right now, to marry and settle down. Yeah. That's crazy that he did that. It's yeah. like he knew. Yeah. He was in his hospice and he was like, calm down, bring Angel. And he was like giving us his blessing. That's true. That's pretty crazy. But when she found out, I was eating Johnny Rockets with uh, my sisters and my mom. And she's like, <laughs> don't react. I was like, why? She's like, don't react. But I'm pregnant. And I was like, what? What? <laughs> I was like, oh my god. I How still remember. Like, yeah, and you're like, she's like, be quiet. Don't react. I was like, okay, okay, okay. My sisters looked at me and I was just like, I feel like I didn't know anything. Because I wanted to make sure. Yeah. I called her after I took my first test. Like, she was the first person I called. And I knew she was out with my family. So I was like, don't react on me. She's like, Oh my gosh! Yeah, I was like, oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> that was pretty crazy though. It was so unexpected for me that I didn't even think about getting her reaction. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. It was so raw. And. But literally, my reaction had to be so like surprised. I was like, oh <laughs> my god. What did you say? I was like, oh no, 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 no. I was like, please. <laughs> They're definitely gonna ask you what. Yeah. And luckily, I got the reaction of the other family. The yeah. Angel side of the family. It was a really cute reaction. It's gonna be on my Instagram if you guys want to check it out. But it was really cute. His family was so happy, and I just know my baby's loved like by so many people. I'm super excited. I'm gonna be an aunt, you guys. It's so weird because she's younger than me and she's having a baby already, but she's ready for this. Like she's the Kylie of our family. I swear I was born to be a mom. I really, really wanted to be a mom. Yeah. I love kids. She really is the Kylie Jenner of the family. You guys want to see my belly? Yeah, show them your belly. <laughs> it's so hard to get up. Oh my gosh, she's so pregnant. Look at that. I don't know if this is considered big or not, but That's you could see the Linnea Negra, I think. Yeah. 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 She's really pregnant. I am six months. Baby is due in February. If you guys are interested in seeing like a birth vlog or birth video, comment below. Yeah. Let us know. She will have to record. <laughs> we we'll bring our noodles to the front. Yep. I don't know if you guys noticed, but... I've been eating extra. Yeah, usually I eat more than her, but she's been eating more than me, obviously because she has like two mouths to feed now. Yeah, but I've been getting so much weight, it's been kind of stressing me out. Before, so before I wanted to gain weight because it was so hard for me to gain weight. Sure. So good. Now I can't even do the simplest things like tie my shoes. Do my toes. You're at the stage of your pregnancy where you can't do stuff like that. Yeah, it's hard and I breathe so loud. It annoys me. <laughs> That's true. Mm. Honestly, once you give birth, just get back in the gym, eat healthy, and you got it. Like, you're young, so you can snap back in no time. I'm pretty sure there's mothers out there watching this. Comment down some tips and advices because I would love to hear from you guys. Mm -hmm. 
I'm kind of scared. I really respect moms out there even way more now that I'm pregnant. I'm scared for you. Like, birthing looks so scary. Oh my god. And first trimester was the worst. I was so nauseous. Yeah, she was. Every morning I hear like, Wah! It was so bad. And my mom would make kimchi downstairs. <laughs> she yelled at my mom. She's like, don't put kimchi in my refrigerator, please. Like, please, please, don't put it. Yeah. Because when she puts kimchi in my fridge, all my food smells and tastes like kimchi. And kimchi I was like, really strong. Mm hmm. I was like, please, Oma. And she would just keep putting it in my fridge. I was like, oh my gosh. But I really, I'm happy that I haven't given birth now because I feel like my mom is a little bit lonely mm -hmm. after losing my dad. She was so used to always being with my dad, but now there's a new family member for her to like bond with. Mm -hmm. My mom really wanted me to have a girl too. <laughs> she wanted a girl, like period. We don't even have any guys in our family, but she still wanted a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Mom's a girl's girl. I don't know. I'm really excited as a girl, too, because then we can dress her up really cute. And, like, you can wear matching outfits with her. Mm -hmm. Take her shopping. Our family's really girly. Mm -hmm. We don't have any guys. <laughs> I'm excited. I feel like you're going to have a really good bond with her, too. Yeah, of course. I'm her aunt. You want to be one of those cool aunts? I'm going to be such a cool aunt. Like, that is one of my biggest dreams, to be a cool aunt. Obviously, I want to be a mother in the future, but I'm not ready. So, like, my friends have babies, and I'm just so excited to be aunts. And this time, it's going to be my own blood. So, I'm really excited. I'm going to be such a cool aunt. Well, I really feel like she's a miracle. So, mm -hmm. the name that we gave her is Mila. <laughs> it comes from the word milagros in Spanish, which is miracle. So yeah. Yeah, she's a hopper baby. Yeah. Half Hispanic, half Korean. Mila Diaz. I'm still thinking of a Korean name for her. I know. I'm praying about it. It has to be a prophetic. Let's give her a really good name. So as of now, Eunice is the youngest mom in the family. Tell them how old you are. I'm 23. Yeah. I'm turning 24 this year. So basically, when I have Mila, I'll be 24. Wow. So young. I always wanted to be a young mom, but now that I'm getting older, I'm not ready. It's okay. Take your time. Yeah. Honestly, like, I was really shocked at first. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. I was more like, oh my gosh, I'm pregnant. Yeah, because you're so young. You're just not... It was very... It was a surprise. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I was really going through it because I had to go through, like, the realization of, oh my gosh... My life is going to change so different from my past life. I can't do things that I used to do. It's not your life anymore. It's not about me anymore. Yeah. My number one priority is now my daughter. <sighs> yep. But now, like, as I feel her kicking inside me and I see her growing every ultrasound, it makes me, like, tear up. It's, like, so crazy to see another life inside me. Yeah. It's, it's crazy, crazy that we can create life. Like, that ability is given to us. Something that seems like it's just a cell or a fetus actually produces life. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Watching your pregnancy really makes me realize like how precious life is. I wanted to tell you guys so bad. She did. So bad, but she just didn't know how and like when. Yeah, I didn't know how and honestly, I wanted to keep it on the down low because yeah. not that anything would go wrong, but just, you know, I wanted everything to be set. A lot of my friends don't even know. They might be watching this like... This is, your, betrayed. <laughs> this is your announcement right mm. here. <laughs> They're gonna find out through mukbang. <laughs> Dear friends that I would not meet up with and the friends that I would flake on and be MIA on, this is why. I mean, I feel like if they're like in your close circle, then obviously they would know. But if they're not, like, it's not mandatory for you to tell them. 20 people know. Oh, that's a good amount of people. Including our family. Oh, okay. That's not that much people then. I'm really sorry for not telling you guys, but now you guys know. I can't wait to go like shopping with Mila. Like, I think that'll be so fun. Take her to get her hair done, just like girly things. I'm kind of scared because people say that kids grow up so quick. They do. That I'm trying to even cherish every moment of me being pregnant. Everyone's been really nice to me. <laughs> Honestly, Loki, she's been kind of taking advantage of the fact that she's pregnant. I'm like, can you help me with this? She's like, I'm pregnant. <laughs> it's the best excuse, guys. Oh, can you carry that? 
My doctor said don't carry anything yeah. heavy. I'm pregnant. <laughs> So when I'm outside, I try to wear something tight so when people like see me pregnant, there's so much They give you to... the first, like an advantage? Yeah. <laughs> if you're pregnant, that's one good thing. People are much nicer to you. I don't know what it is, but I enjoy that. I would do it too. <laughs> it only comes once, like in a blue moon, you know? Like, oh, sit down, sit down. Okay, don't mind if I do. <laughs> so after you have Mila, are you planning to have more kids? Yeah, I definitely want to give Mila a sibling. Yeah, give her a sibling. Because, I don't know, me coming from a family with four girls, I feel like the best gift my parents gifted me was siblings. Mm -hmm. Don't let it get to your head, but... <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm having, necessary. Definitely having you as my sister made childhood a lot more fun and memorable. I know, that's right. Yeah, no, but siblings, I feel like... There's a love and hate relationship with siblings, but at the end of the day, I'd rather have a sibling than not, mm -hmm. you know? And, like, after our dad passed, I realized it's so much better to share your grief and share everything with your siblings, your family members. Imagine going through all that by yourself. But then again, you know, single children, they they like doing everything by themselves, too. I know, so... so really yeah. I don't know. I think it's because of my experience. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, no, I have a lot of friends that are only child and they love being an only child. Same, they love it. But because I can't relate to that, I don't know, you know? Yeah. When do you want to have your next child? Like, In like four years. I think yours and my relationship is perfect. Yeah. We have different generation friend groups, mm -hmm. but they're not too far apart. Yeah, we can still relate to each other. Yeah. Because my other two sisters, they're two years apart and they share the like, same friend group. Yeah, they do. Personally, I don't want to share. I don't want to share. No. <laughs> I like having different friend groups. Yeah. But we'll see. Once I give birth, who knows? I might not ever want to go through that pain again. Yeah. I'll be like, ma'am, epidural. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a lot of mothers that don't want to have the epidural, but I'm just like... I mean, kudos to them, you know? But yeah. like... I kudos to you, but not me. I'm really bad with pain tolerance. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's so dramatic. I am. Yeah. I am. I'm really She scared. really is. Yeah. Emotional pain, I'm really good at dealing mm -hmm. with. But physical pain, hella dramatic. I'm so dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but no one else in my family gave birth, like sibling wise, yet, so. Sorry, my eyes are so dry. <laughs> 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 so, all the advice and tips you guys have, things that you don't read about but you wish you read about, like, just yeah. comment them down below. I will be forever grateful. I'm gonna look through each and every comment of those. Did you read the book that I bought you? I'm on like chapter three. Do you like it? No, it's pretty good. I feel like that's a good way to raise your child. She gave me a book called Montessori Toddler. Mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. that's what it's called. It's because one of my friends have a child and she posted that book on her story and, I, and she's really into natural things like making sure your children doesn't play with plastic that's harmful to them and just natural remedies. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. Mm -hmm. And I feel like because I was a teacher for a long time in my life, yeah. like I worked with kids a lot, yeah. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, she's she's been ready to be a mother. She I've always like to. sends me baby videos, and she's like, "Isn't this so cute?" She's like sending me cat videos and sending yeah, me baby videos. Yeah. <laughs> this is a really meaningful video. I feel like I'm sharing such a huge part of my life with you guys, and you guys are a huge part of my life already. So it's like bringing the best of both worlds, you know, together. We started this mukbang channel a year ago. Yeah. But within that year, so many things have happened in our lives. Yeah. It's crazy being able to document every part of it. Thank you for being part of our journey. Really, really appreciate you, Chimmy Squad. If you're just watching this video for the first time, you're welcome to be a part of Chimmy Squad as well. They came to watch us eat, but then we're like exposing all our lives. I know. <laughs> if you're here just for the noodles, you can click out now. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a video on like cravings and just like pregnancy related videos. If you guys have any ideas that you guys want us to do, comment it down below as well. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Hit that like button, subscribe, post notification bell. Ding! If you haven't already, make sure to go ahead and follow our TikTok account and our joint Instagram account. And we'll see you guys next episode. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye. Missing someone